Wednesday the 11th of March 2020. <laughs> Valentine joins us only because it's raining isn't it sweetheart? Because you're a bit bored of trying to dodge the puddles outside. She wants to do a little bit of tarot don't you gorgeous? You want to say hello? Yeah you could sit here the whole time couldn't you honey except you wouldn't. You'd wriggle about and then you'd try and jump on top of the wardrobe. Do you want to go onto the bed? We can do some tarot. Which one should we use today, Valentine? We are using the chick -chick tarot, the cosmic tarot, the 1980s tarot. Should we go on the bed? Woof! Gosh, such a lot of energy. Okay, chick -chick let's do it. Someone told me the other day that when I do that noise, it reminds them of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. What a great film that is. Okay, Hanged Man has come up. Twice in the big girl shuffle. I want that one. Oof. There's the devil in the shuffle. Also the six of pentacles. You want to come out too. Okay. I am doing reversals today. And clearly we're doing headgear as well. So far two of the characters have either a, a tiara thingy or a bandana. It is the 80s. Everyone in the 80s had a tiara or a bandana. The tennis players, the movie stars, everybody. Well, as you know, I've always got a tiara on hand. There's one just right there. And I did, I'll tell you what I did have that was good. <laughs> And I still have somewhere. I had a sun visor. I love me a sun visor. One of those like tennis ones that's kind of white and then it has a green. Yeah. Nobody seems to wear them much these days. They're great. Okay. Maybe we'll do, when we do our 80s tarot, we'll <laughs> have a, so the empress can just be on her throne with the velvet dress looking all empressy. And then she'll just be like, Tipping a sun visor. <laughs> oh dear. Is it just me? I don't think so. Okay. This might only be for a couple of people. Yeah, there is like the sort of vibe of a slight whiff of narcissism here. Mm hmm. Now, this could be in any kind of situation. Of course, it pertains to personal relationships. But it can also be to do with narcissism at work, which is a huge thing, um, particularly in, you know, management and stuff. If you're unlucky enough to encounter somebody who manages, I don't know, who, yeah, <laughs> who doesn't manage their ego as well as they could. I'm trying to be diplomatic, but they're not. <laughs> okay, it can be authority. Um, Overall energy card, the Hierophant in reverse. Yeah. Now the Hierophant represents, um, effectively it's like the high priest, so it represents the offices of the church. It represents levels of hierarchy. It represents, depending on the reading, um, the guru. Someone who's seen as an authority on something, who passes it to other people in some way. So it could be through delivering a sermon, it could be through a le lecture or a lesson, but it's in the reverse. And when it's in the reverse, for me, it's a bit off beam for some reason, okay? Now, we have two kings in the reverse. The king of swords in the reverse, who is my tip off for some kind of narcissistic stripe, okay? Now, like I say, it's a big thing, narcissism. It's got loads of videos on YouTube and you know, it can be extremely destructive, but there can just be strands of it. There are, There is a spectrum, isn't there? There are ways where people are some days a bit narcissistic, but not an entire narcissist. I don't know. But the King of Swords is someone who, I think we just need to check out the moustache apart from anything else first. Look at that moustache, it's a fantastic moustache and the headgear is good. Okay. But, you know, if he is a narcissist, he wants to look good. But it's a control thing. King of Swords is in control. He's got the sword, 
he looks serious he's never the one who's like yeah you know welcome to king's mansion check out my crib it's none of that it's like hello this is how it's going to be i've done you know a powerpoint thing and everybody's got one you had it seven days ago that kind of thing it's a bit scary when he's in reverse as well he might not have your best interests at heart king of wands in reverse now he is the player he is the player king when he's in reverse though he can be a bit petulant he could be the same person this bit petulant throwing the toys out the pram not getting their own way of course this could be your energy so see fit to identify yourself if you are behaving like a brat or if you're having a bratty day now we all do have that's what i mean you can have a bratty day and not be a brat so but I have the feeling this is something to do with work or family or it could be personal relationships where authority and power is being slightly misused. OK, the nine of cups in reverse, the emotional wish card, emotional wish is not particularly granted here. It's not your heart's desire to be dominated or micromanaged or um deceived at the very worst end of it i don't think it is particularly deceived but i think it's misled okay now we have some very interesting the three remaining cards are extremely interesting the high priestess now the high priestess is almost i mean the high priest the hierophant he's much more overt and um authoritarian the high priestess is much more hidden and she's about the esoteric and the hidden knowledge and the hunches and the intuition and all that stuff. <clears throat> now, that I think is where the truth and the money lies. One moment for my horrible vitamin drink. That's where the truth and the money lies. And look what we've got in the middle. <clears throat> Justice. Two feminine cards and also Justice, she's kind of wielding the sword, but it's in a more compassionate, balanced and equal way than the King of Swords is. OK, this could be a third party organisation like Human Resources or the Union or a friend or the universe even. So tune in to the vibration that you're getting, to the hunches that you're getting, to the feelings that you're getting about something. And then finally we get the world. Know that this is part of a cycle, it's part of a larger cy cycle, I can't speak still, larger cycle, it's got, I don't know why I'm feeling the Wheel of Fortune because it's not here, but as I've said recently, sometimes when you're a tarot reader, you feel the cards that aren't there and they have a place sort of over here somewhere. So I'm feeling the Wheel of Fortune, but we've got the world on the table. Some of this may be a bit karmic. So it may be spiritually karmic or it may go back to um, lessons needed to be learned about being having your feelings discounted. If in your childhood or growing up or, you know, in your 20s, 30s, teens, whatever, you felt or you allowed your feelings to be discounted because you were too young and inexperienced to know how to deal with this, this might be another opportunity to deal with it. Sometimes the universe serves us up the lessons we haven't quite learned yet through characters. And we certainly have a lot of characters here. nice wisdom of the oracle i love this card regeneration it's a chance it's a redo i love this i call this i dream of electric trees because the tree does look electric and it comes out of lava and nothingness this is a positive card okay this is a chance because i think we had judgment yesterday which is the card of resurrection this is a chance to not so much have a do-over, but just, how can I put it? Kind of clear the slate so that you're not working off past mistakes. And also other people aren't holding you accountable for who you were 10 years ago. Okay, quite a strange reading today, but I'm feeling it. Uh -huh. 
Ideas and inspiration, we got this yesterday. So you may be putting forward project ideas or have inspiration and people might be shooting them down, okay? But you also get playfulness. And you may have to, especially if the King of Swords is being serious and causing a sort of doomy atmosphere, you might have to use your sense of humour here wisely. I like this reading. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates for you. And do like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.